the bottom area. What? I think so. No, no, no. He qualified for the last chance qualifier mm -hmm. um, for the Arcadian. So mm -hmm. he's tech he was in the Arcadian, but what? I believe he had to drop out of the Arcadian to play in the top 16 here. Got it. I got I'm it. not sure. Maybe production can correct me, but I'm not sure if he was able allowed to play in both of them no, because no, no, they're I happening simultaneously. Yeah, no. I got that part. It's just crazy that... But because of that, Chase had to play so many games of Smash. Yeah, Chase had to play two full, over 400-person brackets yesterday. One 500-person bracket, one 400-something. I think it was like 16 matches, something I, around that number. And also, I, I don't know. There's a lot of matches that Chase had to play yesterday, so he's probably tired, but nice night of sleep. Maybe refreshed for this set against Chag this morning. And we have a Palu Ditto. Uh, <laughs> As expected. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you something a little bit funky around here. Paladinos are hilarious because I'm gonna tell you, they're both running at the same speed. So yeah, they're both running, running in the same direction. It's just kind of like, oh, gonna go in the same wave. And both of them gonna have to use that respect with that bear. Gonna have to make sure to figure it out as well. But as I said, as we said earlier, it's a run back from that pool. So we're we'll gonna see who's able to pull forward on a head. Chag did beat MBD to get here, while Chase beat out Kronos to get here. So both of them beating out the snakes. You know, snakes in the grass. Yes, apparently apparently all of us takes and loses brackets fell, but we still see that one in winner's bracket remaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apollo Kage. Apollo Kage. But for now, these, these players are both throwing out a lot of testy moves. This is definitely a matchup where it's just a lot of neutral over and over again. Neither of these players are going to be able to kill each other super easily. Sometimes sometimes you can get a ledge trap, but I'm assuming both of these players know about the non 2 frameable recovery, where you can just go a slightly downwards angle and never get two frame by that down tilt or anything like that. I think the crazy part is that, like, yeah, they shouldn't be dying at, like, super high percents, but they do know that their kill range is already starting at 100. Like, a solid hit will be able to take them out there, and like you said earlier, with that two frame attempt as well. But it's kind of crazy to see, because this is the ditto. They both have that kind of similar game plan, but they also know that both of them want to get those aerials off there. They want to get that burst dash attack in with that grab, and uh, it's, it's, like, it's such a high stressful one in the side special getting out there. And speaking of two frame, like you said, Jet, yeah, I mean, that down tilt's so good when your opponent doesn't have the opportunity to go with a downward angles teleport. Right now, uh, right now though, it's just a, a little bit of a back and forth. One of them edgeguards one, one of them edgeguards the other. Mm -hmm. But it's like I, <laughs> they both clanked each other on their shield, using their invincible moves on nice. both sides. And wow. explosive flames are trying to trade back and forth. Nice two frame there. Oh, I guess it wasn't even a two frame. It wasn't quite nice. on the ledge. But Chase taking the first stock. Here in this Palu Ditto, which I feel like is such a such an important thing as the as like every neutral interaction you win is just sort of something that keeps keeps you inching closer to victory. You're it, probably both gonna need around the same number of neutral interactions, but explosive flame will take the stock there, Wolfie. It's not just that, Jay. Remember, if you're in the lead, you gotta approach. If, you, if you're in the lead, the opponent has to approach there. So it was really thankful that Chag was actually able to get snipe it out with that side special in order to get the stock count back to even. And once again. We are back to square number one, seeing who will mess up first in a little bit of trade, so we don't know who's getting who. Yeah, right now, though, Chase getting a little bit of the better of the trades, but finally, one big solid hit for oh. Chag, and uh, it's completely answered back. That's that's the funny part about this matchup is sometimes there's just one uh, there's just one neutral interaction that's worth so much, and other times you're just getting a little bit of a nickel and dime. Mm -hmm. Nickels and dimes, but remember, if that adds up together, you got to cash out. So we'll have to see how it kind of works out here. And both of them relative even one, but there we go. Nice punish on there. Has the ledge trap set up, fall in there. Gonna be used out there once again. Gonna have to kind of fish for each other out there. A little bit of shield shenanigans happening as well. Fair in that air-to-air -air interaction. I love the grab attempt, but pushing it out there. I love that jump away, knowing that Shaq was gonna go for a down throw. Does land? Yes, I know. Both of them are gonna wait to see what their option is, because both of them know that's not true. And here we go, gets the footstool. Once again, spacing it out. They're so high pressure, both of them. It's like a it's like a trapeze act. Both of them just kind of, you know, end the balance in a dance to fight this out there. And it's so close, and <laughs> I don't know who's gonna take it at this point. Yeah, I really like want to highlight what you were talking about, about the, uh, the sort of neutral play. With the neutral air is, like, once you start that up, your opponent, if they can react in time and back up and catch your landing, that's the best way. Both the back air and the dash attack really good at catching the neutral air on the landing. So, you know, if you are the one to strike first, a lot of times you're going to be the one falling. And but so close. Be able to take it just yet. That fair. Wow. Excellent. Wow, I didn't expect that aggressive. <laughs> yeah, such a crazy drift in. I mean, oh, that killed? Damn. Yeah, I think it was the I think it was just the DI, the DI check. So. Yep. 
sent to the heavens, I guess. Just send them where you belong, and boom. I was gonna, I was thinking, you know, there's gonna be very few, you know, like sort of matchup yeah. checks in this in this matchup because obviously, you know, both the players they play the character and auto parries. Wow. Uh, but yeah, both the players okay. play the character. Not expecting a lot of matchup checks, but this time, you know, getting that uh, that DI check. Mm -hmm. so who can play better? Who is the better player at this point? And Chase is hungry for a win. Has been kind of whining for this opportunity so far. Has been grinding super hard, and one of the hardest working players in Southern California, so it's really nice. Zip finally show up, and over showing up is truly what is right now. Get in this huge lead. This is the biggest lead we've seen so far. Absolutely, and I mean, you talked about how Chase really wants to show up. I mean, Chase is, you know, widely regarded as one of the best players, if not the best player in Southern California, and, but, you know, he hasn't had that success on the major scale yet. He, he is, you know, hasn't found that big result, and he's Itching for it, itching for that summit spot. No oh, jumps, gets his hair caught in the fire. I smell burning hair, and it's not good for Chase. That's what I'm talking about when they're both running in the same direction. It kind of just looks like that one, but the grab lands on Chags, and damage landing up fast. And can you get out of this disadvantage state? Thankfully, he's able to get away with it, and now Chase in control back once again with that dash attack in that bear as well. Almost got off to the side, so Chase. Doing a really good job controlling this lead, and now has Chag in a really off position, but that spacing on the bear, not good enough. Chag with that dash shielding forward, able to get that in there, and can you finish it off, Chase, with this corner? But Chag, I just love the confidence to keep just running forward, because knowing that Chase will shield. Yeah, absolutely. And, okay, once once again, we see, once you shield the Nair, shield the Nair means you're, you're almost never getting a punish unless you are, unless they started at a really bad time and a really bad spacing. So, both these players respecting the Nair on shield so far, and we're going to see if Chase's lead is going to is gonna amount in a game, because right now, I mean, it's, it's like 150%. Eventually, something will kill, but at the same time, if you let this game keep playing, Chag will eventually find those neutral wins, eventually get that percent back like up. Said, getting a little bit of set up, but as you said, 160% a side B, a straight side B, a straight back, and surely will be able to take it. And Chase knows that, but the problem is, is that you're fishing for those like few options, and Chag knows that. Yeah, dash attack is also like a kill option fairly soon. If it isn't stale, it might be even killing right now, but the back air is enough, and Chase taking the first game after... Wow, that was a, that was a long, stressful game. I mean, I feel like both these players were really, really itching to find some sort of purchase on the ground, but every time, you know, Chase getting slightly better of the neutral interactions, I feel like Chag survived a lot of things where it looked like he might die with some creative recoveries. I really like that drift in fair that he did where it was like, all right, I'm gonna drift, like do something Palus never do. I'm gonna go all the way to the ledge and do an aggressive attack, which, you know, seems like a very base level option for newer players. You know, when you're playing at this level, that is completely unexpected. I never see any of the Palutenas do that. I love Chase uh, stringing that Red Bull. You know, <laughs> gotta give you wings, and Palutena is gonna need him in this matchup. Gotta Absolutely. have to soar high into there. And once again, as you saw earlier, they didn't want to ask for that run back. So Chase, we're kind of moving that, and that forward. And once again, it's it's such a momentum swinging game. It really just depends who can pull on the lead forward. And once again, the neutral interactions are favoring Chag, but she doesn't say that. Chag trades back forward from Chase, but. Oh, okay, so we'll start with C CH. I just realized that. Chase, yeah. Chat. Oh, oh, no, the CHA. CHA. They're all the way down to the second, second to last letter for Chase. Yeah, I mean, it's. They play the same character. They play each other a lot. I mean, Chag is not too far away, travels to Southern California oh, relatively wow. often. Also, I think the coolest part about it is that they're both just really talented players. They've both been really showing up there, but. Love to see it kind of moves on forward, trying to get something down there. I love the aggression, but we'll have to get that teleport off. And once again, oh, that center stage is so important. Excellent. With that bear in the side before seeing downer. that air dodge, but won't be able to get that downer in the grab. The comps to go for it. Just the patience waiting for something. They know when it's true or not, but no grab out there. And Chag will be the one striking back for a little more damage, keeping Chase directly into the heavens. But the teleport, thankfully, will break him out. Wow, a little bit ambiguous on where that teleport was going to end, trying to fake out between the platform and the ground, and that time, Chad guessed wrong, and Ch Chase was able to get out of there successfully, and all the up air barely kissing the toes that of, of Chag, and right now, it's just uh, not quite going to connect. Okay, Jet. <laughs> hey, man. I won't judge, but there we go. That bear able to land out there, and looking, looking, looking a little mighty fine sus, but we'll do what's up. Gets the grab, and once again, this is kind of the trend of game number one. Both of them is relatively high percents and throwing it back. We'll have to see how it works out right now. Stuck on this ledge down to use and he's now teleport. Excellent. Tomahawk using the fourth throw. I like that. Just get him off stage and chase. 
Felt odd there, but excellent. Finally executed and only taking 119. That is really, really good. Yeah, I think uh, one of the big things about this matchup that, that I, I talked about uh, a little bit earlier is how how difficult it is to make a comeback due to the amount of neutral wins required. Once, you, once you're like a little bit behind, wow. Wow, really nice, really nice way of, of getting that stock relatively early compared to how the other stocks have been ending. But yeah, there's not a lot of ways to get the stock super early. Occasionally, like maybe once or twice in the entire set, we might see an early down air kill. But 99% of the time, we're gonna be seeing just a uh, a long, a, a long string of edge guards and eventually killing with bash, back air dash attack, back throw, something like that, which kills eventually. But, but you know, it's. It changes when you're behind what percentage of neutral interactions you need to win by a lot. You can't get those cheesy kills because both these players will know exactly when they're going for it. It's all about it's all about that nooch. The nooch. It's all about that nooch. Yeah, that's exactly what you're saying. That's something that Palutena has. It's one of the biggest strengths. It, 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 it gives you wings. Yeah, the red it bull. gives <laughs> you wings. I'm telling you. <laughs> Jace able to get that board excellently done, and now. Like I said earlier, with that neutral, Chag now has to has just a big hill to climb because you have to keep winning over and over and over and then finish the stock. And you have to avoid as much damage as possible. Chase with that lead. And now, as maybe can shown from last game, he was able to hold on to that stock lead for like almost the entire time on when it mattered the most. So now, Chag has to be the one that has to approach and already taking up damage. Excellent reverse snare. Look at that mileage. Chase, really good stuff. But now Chag is able to avoid it out there and gets that burst dash attack for that damage. Yeah, re really impressive uh, showing of just like how Chase was able to find that neutral air because both these players were literally spamming that nair button. They were like, I'm going on an airplane today. Eventually, I'm going to find a hit, but Chase managed to weave over the top of it. Wow, wow, what a fade back. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, don't go to the light, Chase. Yeah. Don't go to the light. Riddle's dead and got bopped. <laughs> we're having to see how it works out here, trying to go for it, but. Air dodge burn instead. Can you get the down air? No. We'll be able to escape and this time doesn't jump into the up air. Chag trying to fish it out there. But that's also one of the options. They have to fish for that read to see if they'll jump or that air dodge. But majority of the times, we'll be able there. to get it. And once again, Chag got to end this somehow and Chase not letting go of this stock. Yeah, I really, I really like how Chag has been playing this. I mean, Chase is trying, have been trying to nickel and dime his way into a little bit more percent. We haven't seen a single neutral win since that early nair. And it was just Chag sort of taking over the game, taking over the stage, and taking over that stock as now we are sitting in a basically dead even scenario. I mean, Chag was kept fishing for that jump read and Chase, you know? I thought it was just to stay ground, because you just want to stay ground. There's nothing you can really do to kind of kill you. He's like, if, yeah, if Chag will grab you, it's not going to end your stock, but it's going to happen, and Chag will be able to even it up and only just literally a little about a point for sense, but we to finally get there. The bear not going to connect once again, but Chag missing it out on that whiff to punish the shielding out there, trying to get that nair. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's yes, hilarious. It's so funny when both players run in this exact same direction. <laughs> I love it. And look at that. Able to do so well, well and once again, just kind of back into this neutral, back into the center stage, but here comes the punish. Chag getting hit up for quite a lot. It's weird because it throws off the spacing. It throws yeah. off like on the dash back and forth punishes. That's why Ditto's can be really difficult to deal with. It's why people, so many people dislike them yeah. for how they can kind of work like this. But Chase, no stranger to these kind of Ditto's. So we'll have to try their best jump. Almost gets right out that up air on Chax and it's been enormous an excellent read on that row. Now has the advantage once again. The read on the jumps have wow. been consistent and Chad with that little mini pop-up saying, yeah, I saw that jump coming. And honestly, I know Chase, you got wings because of that sky because you've gone too close to the sun and you got burned. <laughs> yeah, really impressive there. I mean, I think uh I think Chag's back air was pretty not stale, which was really important yeah. for getting that kill. A lot of times we see Palus not getting kills with back air, even in the corner to like 130, 140, because their back air has been hit on shield so many times. Mm -hmm. And I think in this case, Chag was purposely not staling that back air and getting that kill at 103% with a little bit of rage was, was like really important for this game. I mean, it, it's just cannot be overstated how much, how much it matters to get the earlier kills. The ball. Now back in Chag's court. Able to kind of hit that off there, and we're hopping into Kalos. Oh, wow. We get a little bit of a stage matchup. I know some Palus love this stage a lot because of the the things you can do with the uh, the, the side B. The platform is like the perfect height to mix up with, with side B and do a lot of crazy things. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Chase take a lot of advantage of that. I'm not sure if Chag's exactly in that same camp. I know, I know Luis loves the stage for that reason as well. 
We'll have to see how it works out there. I mean, this is why Chase did pick this stage. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason. And excellent stuff on the conversion. Great parry and the drag down up there. I love that. And I love the jab to kind of check to see if the shield is going to land or something else. But they'll be punishing on there. Barely missing it out on that option. And once again, that Nair use. And this time, knowing Chase has been jumping quite a lot. And this time, I like that I hope Chase realized that Shaz kind of showing their hand really early, showing off that they're going to keep reading on for that jump. So Chase gets out with that drag down, gets the down throw as well. Now this time it's like, hey, hey, Chag, uh, how will you jump this time? <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, let me, let me see if those, those toes are ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> they just nair on each other's shield several times. And oh, tries to go for the jump again. I love it. I love this like sort of. Mind games between landing on the platform, going for the jump, and going for like an explosive flame on the platform. I feel like there's a, a lot of mix-ups to be had there, and this that makes the stage really interesting in this matchup. Chase actually jumped that time. Chag was just like, okay, I've shown my hand a few times, surely he won't do it. And this time Chase is able to execute on that one. That can't get the two frames, though. Almost gets that bear. The timing was just a bit off, but Salas coming in to play here. It comes. Chase trying to finish it off and threatening with their oh gets away with that was actually really good stuff by Chag that just really kept it relatively safe and excellent stuff and uh, it never gets old. Yeah, every time I see it, I'm gonna let out a little giggle because it's just, <laughs> it's just so silly seeing both of these characters floating away from each other. Oh, it's gonna have to work out here and. I mean, Jay, you're expecting what? Just a, a jump read or just a solid back air at this point? I, I'm thinking we're gonna probably see a back throw kill. Mm, I don't know why I'm feeling a back throw. Oh. Might get your wish soon, but explosive flame use both of them teleporting, and now instead it'll be Chag gets the stage control. Yeah, I mean, I, I, both these players have been really avoiding shielding in the corner, but okay, a dash tech will eventually do it. One of the safer ways to get the kill because if you if your opponent is caught nearing, is caught landing with something other than a back air, they're gonna be it. They're gonna get beaten out for that. See, it works out there, in a little bit of damage being dealt out there, and now yeah. Chag's playing patient, but that down tilt, nice read by Chase calling out the air dot saying, yeah, you're at high percent, you will try to go for that air dot, sniffs it out there. We are back onto two stocks apiece. Yeah, getting that starter, getting that turnaround, it's uh, Chag this time with the with the full conversion, but no, good, good DI away, and now uh, Chase is the one getting the more percent, gets the a little bit fuller of a combo, 48% versus 34 Allowing him to get that one extra hit at the end makes a makes a lot of a difference in this matchup. That is a game of inches, not of miles. It's like a it's, it's literally like a, it's like a matrix. It's like a glitch. Nair, <laughs> nair, nair, nair. Going on the left side, going on the right side, and oh goodness, love we'll to see it works out there. But Chase getting kind of for a little more tech in. Oh, not in time just yet. Really good stuff by Chaga and shield folks right through. Oh, really close stop there. But once again. We have to get the out of shield there, but the tech gets and gets the jump, and oh, thankfully the dash tech does break them out. Yeah, it seems like uh, it seems like Chag was sort of fainting, landing on that platform, but managed to managed to fake out Chase, who chased him a little bit too high, and Chag uh, <laughs> Chag answering back with an aggressive option out of the corner that he hasn't used a ton. So it works out, both of them kind of swinging on there. Chag has a lot of rage to work with. That's kind of the benefits of the situation. And now time grows still. Wow, surprised we didn't see a grab there. Um, not sure. Not sure if Nair is is grabbable on shield. I know. Uh, I know shield grab is not great in this game, but sometimes, sometimes when an aerial is misplaced like that, it seemed like a rising Nair might have been a uh, might have been grabbable. Might have been a back throw, but not sure this time. And now we see a uh, we see a really dangerous ledge trap at any point. Like it feels like one of these players is gonna find the right read, but they haven't so far. And we keep seeing. More escapes out of the corner. Once again, goes for this Whoa. dare. We have yet to see a dare connect. Do you think we're going to see any of this set will be scratch? It will. It's going to come out when it needs the most. It's going to be like it's 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 just going to be there, and it's just going to matter because um, it's the San Diego Palutena's. They love going for that down throw, mixing up there with that down air. So, uh, and so Quinn mixed it up last time to get that win against. Um, oh, I, uh, it was what? against uh, Jay Dizzle. Oh, Jay Dizzle. The down throw and to wait F smash. It was, able to take the, it was able to take the set off of that in that game by situation, but when you talk about there, the two shields do connect, and boom! Chase will be able to get it out there. Yeah, finally getting that that kill with the dash attack. I mean, that's one of those, like, okay, we're, we finally reached this point where I'm killing with dash attack. It kind of sucks, but at the same time, you're like, I'm happy to have an aggressive burst option to get it. That trade there, not uh, not not something you really want when you're when you're ahead on stocks. You're trying to keep trying to keep the lead going, but speed of keeping the lead nice. going, Chase is Still making a lot happen here. Uh, it was really, it was really ironic because both those kills came off of both their like invulnerability hits. 
connecting with each other and then actually trading out. But Chase getting so much off of these interactions now, Chad. But we've seen what happens already. Chase will get like the lead, and then Chad will just get those few directions that matter the most. That's happened in the previous game. Was able to take it over, and as I say about that, the quick teleport over. Both of them kind of resetting back to that stage, but Chase doing an excellent job. Down here at a shield. Boom. Yep. Nice. All right. Conversion. I've got a note. My alarm bells are going off. Every time uh -oh. I see this, the time get below two minutes, I'm always watching for that. And right now, we are at a minute and eight seconds at. <laughs> At any point, one of these players could look up into the top right and see, I might not be getting a kill in the next minute. Might change how they play, but right now they're both still being fairly aggressive. I'm wondering if at any point one of them is going to mix up and nice go for a different read. thing. No. Nice read. You hear that? That's SoCal popping off for that chase. Excellently done. And remember, this is a run back. This is a run back after Rel. Yeah, Shack. And Chase already doing better than he did in the first set. Chase mm -hmm. going down. 3-1, and, uh, oh, wow, a little bit of shaking coming out from Chag. I'm wondering if he's... he's that's normal. Oh, that's normal. Right, right. I, okay, my bad. Chag does shake a lot, as you see in a lot of cameras. Could be nerves. Could be something else. But honestly, this is high stakes. Yeah, I'd absolutely. Be too. Very high stakes here. I mean, Chag is... Chag really wants that summit slot. A, a world traveler for this game. Chag loves Smash Bros and has been competing so hard this year. I know he, he traveled to, what, 12 different countries this year to try to try to like you know show off how, how how talented he is and won a lot of those events but right now this is coming down to how well you can do in the ditto for socals uh premier palatina and honestly these players need that support more than ever honestly please give your support out there i know chad was like really disappointed to see the cancellation of the swt it was kind of like really disappointed about that one but we'll still continue to play their heart uh, and that's what really matters in the Smash scene, and like you said earlier, it's really gonna be then on who goes in forward, but Chase has been honestly way more in the driver's seat in these sets. Yeah, I mean, these uh, these games have been really going completely almost in favor in favor of Chase in terms of like the early, the early stocks, and then Chag has been always on that back foot trying to make that comeback happen, and the game too was able to, but this time, you know, we're on a different stage. I really like how they're they're changing the stages based on what they prefer. I think in the ditto stage picks, uh, stage picks are really interesting because it's all like what you like, right? It's never like, oh, this is optimal against this character because it's the same character. <laughs> it's the same character. Spider Man pointing at each other. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh goodness, and down tilt, lingering hitbox. I think that's like the first down tilt that's killed in this entire set, and you're kind of talking about how important it is. And look at that. Oh, Chad just kind of you saw that centering Slumping a little yeah, bit, kinda centering himself. Got at this point. Yeah, and now we just see them hunting for their starter, right? Obviously, Chase really, really wants a Nair to get this to get this going because at this point, if you get a Nair, you're just going to be so far ahead in the game. You're going to basically reset to a whole lap ahead of your opponent. And now it's just, oh, wow. good jab check in a Nair. A lot of times people will jump out of shield pressure, and that was a really good way of covering that. And Chag, like I said, been making these comebacks and is slowly eking his way back into this one. Has not been hit on the next stock Ooh. yet. And Puts this pressure on Chase. Back air is a little bit stale uh -oh. though. And the Nair off the uh -oh. ledge, the Palatina Classic, as Chase oh. gets a big amount of damage. Oh my. The damage is quickly stacking fast. Dash attack has that burst option to finally put it out there. But all these platforms kind of set up with the preferences. There's a lot of opportunity for teleport cancels and for platform extension, something you really got to watch out for. Got Chase trapped into this corner, but no. Oh, finally, the shield pokes right through and Chag taking 50%, not the best, not the worst, but you've got to take it at this point because this comeback has got to be made if you want to stay alive in this loser side of top 16. Yeah, I, we talked about earlier how there's a, a sort of lack of ability for Palu to cheese out stocks, but that is actually not true on stages like Battlefield and Yoshi's. Both uh, both these Palus are certainly aware of the ability to extend with a explosive flame into up air, exactly what I was talking about. Uh, if that one was a, a little bit higher, it might have gotten the kill because, yeah, that explosive flame up air is really, really good at just, you know, making sure you have an amazing follow-up and have an ability to kill off the top. It, ridiculously early percent. It blows up stocks. Mm -hmm. it, it becomes super scary, and let's see how it kind of works out there. Trying to go for it. Explosive Flame get punished out. Nice job with that down throw. The mix up on there. Chag not catching on that jump and gets the drag down there into the jabs. Really good stuff. And once again, has Chase trapped into this corner. Great dash tech to punish it out there. And honestly, finally is able to pull ahead. You're talking about how Chag's been on that back, back foot. 
but they kept going more and more. He kept trying and finally was able to secure it out there. So now the ball is back in Chase's court yep. to finally get it back. Chag was on that back foot, but now took two steps forward and is the one with the lead. And once again, we see the, the double pally run away, but these trades are not going to be great for uh, for Chase unless he's taking the stock with them. But oh, the oh, Nair starter is. into the up air. There it Should is. see a lot of damage and perhaps a okay, good try to read the air dodge, but you know, just opted to stay with a little bit more stage Counter. control. And, oh, wow, amazing, amazing recovery there for Chase going really, really oh. high. And this is a... Uh, this is something that is so difficult, but wow. I love that fake out on the shield, the pressure, and catches those feet once again. And wow, okay. This is uh This is really scary because down to the wire. This is keep keep in mind, Chag's gotta win to stay alive. And Chase, if this win is over, mm -hmm. we'll have to see how it works out there. Explosive flame does miss out. Both of them really being super cautious. Bear does land into the dash attack punish. Air dodge burned early, but no punish off of that one. The shield poke. On through, letting, maybe letting go in a little early. And here comes the Nair into the bear chase. Stacking up the damage fast. Got to be really careful, Chag. You have this lead. And now it's kind of going slowly, going away. These interactions favoring Chase, doing an amazing job. But once again, kind of stepping back to that neutral jet. This is high pressure. Yeah, every single one of these interactions is so important. A single hit could be enough to make, to make or break this game. And Chase is the one on the back foot this time, like we talked about. But... You know, we've seen so many times Chase was able to just win three or four neutral interactions in a row, and that could be all it takes to get this game here and hope. But the Nair, and now Chase, the one in the corner. How is he going to oh. find his way out? A back air aggressively. I talked about how unusual that was for Palu to attack from the corner exactly like that. Oh, there, dodge burn, but no punish check. As Chase dropping the corner, the it stays alive. Barely, that jump was red out there. Oh, read the teleport, but it's not just enough. Waiting for a jump. Chag trying to get that read, but the down tilt is going to miss out. But that bear surely will find its mark, but it will be staying alive. That DI, amazing. And Chase, oh, it's on borrowed time, my friend. And we are going to game number five. Game five in a set that almost every game has gone to the two-minute warning. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a scary position to be in because you're... You're using up so much energy this early in bracket um, on this top 16 day, on this day three. And we if we look at the winner's side, yeah, three played. matches have already finished, but we're only on the second one here. Apollo Kage with a 3-0 over Desmona and Tweak with a 3-1 over Ouch. <laughs> We still have we still have another game to play, it's, and they're already on their fourth set. It's the pressure. It's because in, in loser's side, that's it. Yep. You know, you're done for. In the winner's side, you have a little more. It's, it's more lenient. Yeah, that's there some is wiggle a, room. Yeah, there is a summit spot on there, but there is no worse feeling than having everything be put on the line, especially right now here, right now. PS2 battle at the summit. I'm liking that because this is basically, you know, what it is is survival right here, and the music is playing off the fanfare. As we go into game number five, Chase versus Chag, a back and forth set between two of the most talented Palutinas in this venue. Luis, no, no, no disrespect, you're also amazing too, but let me tell you right now, it's between these two right now. These two are making a name for themselves, trying to get this Palu win, showing off that they are the premier Palu in this in this uh this ditto but oh man it's going so well for chag right now chase has been struggling oh. to find a neutral win because chag has just been ready for everything hands that nair normally you go for the dash tech wow. to punish the landing in the nair but was just a little bit too fast and like i said we said it's a game of inches but it's also a game of milliseconds oh the dash tech missing out there chase really back a little bit was expected to connect but want to get it out there as we should kind of back to the situation oh We'll be getting hit out there, Chag. Oh, with a big lead so far in the counter. Wow, don't see that one too often, but sometimes when you know, you know. And oh, this this is going so well for Chag. He, we talked about how hard it is to make a comeback, but Chag was able to make one in the last game. Mm -hmm. Do you think Chase can turn that around this one, Wolfie? No choice but to at this point. You've got to make that happen because Chag's doing an amazing job. Ledge trap roll. He was expecting the jump. But instead, we're trying to go in out there in this neutral set up. Drag down. Nope, we have to get the up tilt or any other follow ups. We're expecting that one. But Dash Tech does whip out there. No punish, though. Chase getting hit up. Boba staying alive. Down tilt. Yeah, good down tilt. It's a really nice option that's lingering if you expect your opponent to run into you. And speaking of running, once again, the run away. And it's scary. Yeah. But here, you know, 
at 154, this is this is sort of like Dash when you live a long time in this matchup when you don't get killed early, you do have a chance of like, you know, killing maybe not quite super early, but you know, around the 110 Dang. mark, you can still get the kill. You can still get that rage kill, especially with an up air. Mm -hmm. What I'm really scared about though is that Chase knows that Chai can go for just a burst dash attack and it's gonna kill if it's the strong hit. So you just gotta be super careful and as well as being careful that you know Chag doesn't mix up the timing on that bear, but staying alive. Air dodge burn oh. barely gets away with it. My goodness, and teleport catch him, but Chag is two steps ahead. Chag ready for that teleport cancel and now already finding another Nair. This is but oh. spell disaster for SoCal fans. Finally able to get it out there and oh. The damage, that was really crucial. Now now Chad just got to keep that lead forward, and now Chase has stopped the bleeding, and now Chad with this lead. I love just playing back out there, trying to shield poke with it, but unsuccessful to do so. Gets the da uh, get the back air, the down tilt lands, but no. Oh, unfortunately, the dash track won't, but Chase, amazing job right now. Eats the shield directly to the face, and oh, trying to get that jab out there. I love how Jackson retreating and then throwing out like a, a move to see if that Chase will run into it, getting help with something, but our dodge burn early. Yeah, that's one of those things you can do when you're in advantage. You can always be like sort of like retreat, like throwing traps out. And oh, once again, we see the exact same situation that took the first stock. You, uh, you like, it seems like Jack has an exact read on what Chase wants. And Chase is unable to find a kill. You gotta, you gotta get it soon. And at this point, gets the grab. Really good mix up on there. A few hits of it. Oh, not gonna land just yet. The Nair, nope. Not gonna kill just yet. The explosive flame thrown out there. Excellent usage of it. Finally be able to cash it in. Finally able to take that stock. Cheers go off there and Chag center himself. Yes, because Chag knows Palutena can stack up that damage fast. Yeah, I'm really surprised we're not seeing the use of the two frameless uh, warp so far because that would be so useful against a lot of these ledge traps and edge guards that are that these players are going for. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if they're not aware of it or if they're not aware of the positioning. Uh, and maybe it's one of those things where you, you don't want to be drifting in too high against the explosive flame. So it's it's hard to say, but right now, Chase has been taking a huge advantage of that. And Chaga, you know, Chag, though, is the one in the driver's seat. Oh, I was really nervous for that. Definitely that back throw, but Chase gets the stock taken. Big lead for Chag. Chase really going to have to make a miracle happen. And we've seen Chag pull it off. And now it is Chase's turn to stay alive. I love the Foxtrot instead to mix up the timings. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cool. A little bit of a mix up, but might be a little bit too late of a mix up as, like we said, oh we're in oh a my. bad spot for Chase. Oh Three hits in oh. a row, tries to go for the read to end it all, giving him those wings right back. I, I, I like how Chag knew that Chase is desperate for that stock, so instead teleports onto the stage, avoiding that down air, but Chase, Quick on the hunt, that patience, the fair is gonna yeah, land. Has the ledge trap, but a fair once again. Turning for the jump. Oh, the air dodge not gonna work out. Chase taking a lot of damage. Trying to go for that ball. He grabbed the nair as the out of shield option. Searching for this stock. Chag holding on for dear life. And we'll have to see kind of works out there. Once again, kind of moving over up tilt lands. No stock though. The back air was so close to connecting. Might have uh, probably not getting the stock that, that far to the left of the stage. But Chase is still hunting for this last stock. How is he gonna find it, Wolfie Scratch? I don't, I don't know, Jet. I, I, he can't, I, he can't find something. He can't land anything right now because oh, Chag is just weaving around these so well. Oh, the falls out of the air, but oh, oh what? That's, that is it. You are done, Chase. Oh, we'll Chase caught out. with an unfortunate TI. Was not expecting that to kill at all. You saw in his eyes, he was just like, this is how it ends. Oh. Poor Chase, I mean, worked so hard to get here. Got double eliminated by the same player, his friend, his fellow Palu main. And now that's gonna be it for Chase's run, but still amazing placing. I mean, 13th at a major of this caliber. Proud of you. I'm proud, proud of you, Chase. You. Amazing, amazing job. Um, honestly, shout out to Chag. What, what a way to make a statement like down you're on your tournament life, but is able to just kind of bring it back. Center yourself. I, I'm Chad. This is what I do. I'm a Chad. Chad, Chad. I'm able to do what I got to do. You know? I'm